slobber all over it. Hey guys, I'm Sarah, aka SoGal. This is Roger. This is Scarlett freaking out over the soccer ball, or sorry, football. And before all you Tottenham haters get mad at me, I'm wearing this because this is my only soccer or you know, football jersey that I have. It was given to me by the patron who requested this video. We're gonna be doing something on we're gonna be doing something on Harry and Paul today. They're gonna be doing a comedy sketch about national anthems. Would you chill out? And if you haven't done it yet, make sure you... Can't spell it right. Subscribe. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Jeez. All right, guys. Here we are. Rogers moved over here to this blackboard. Scarlet's chilling in the. Uh corner of the room over there. <laughs> Alright, as I said in the intro, this is a Patreon request from Waldorf73, and uh, he commented that this is going to be Harry and Paul, uh, Paquador <laughs> versus England. Is that even like a real place? I feel like since this is a comedy sketch, Paquador might be a made-up uh, country or something, but uh, I don't know who Harry and Paul are. I'm assuming they are, well, I wouldn't say British comedians, but Waldorf is from Finland, so I'm not sure if they are from Britain or not. I hope I understand this comedy. It's a comedy sketch about national anthems. I just seen like uh, screenshots of it. It looks like they're going to be doing something on the sidelines, like singing something on the sidelines at a football match. So, I mean, I've seen some actual like national anthems at football matches being sung before, just a handful of them. I hope I understand what's going on in this, but it should be fun. We haven't done comedy for a while on my channel. So I guess we'll just go ahead and get into it. <laughs> So it's England, England's team. God save the Queen there, the English national anthem. And here comes the Ecuador national anthem. This is supposed to be South, it's like a South American team, okay. Pacuador, yeah, that has to be a made up country. I'm pretty sure there's not a country called Pacuador. <laughs> there's a haircut, John, for you. And there's the president for life of Pacuador. <laughs> president for life. Oh. Wait a second, I didn't. The president for life of Pacuador. Dense oh. foundation. <laughs> so exciting! It's World Cup qualifier, John. You know? Well, there we have it. England v Pacuador. There we don't have it. What's going on? That's what I want to know. It's quite a long answer, isn't it? It's quite a long one, this. Yes. Ha! There we have it. That was long, even for South American. Wait a minute, Tom. Yes, there's more. Look. Can't believe this. And the referees. I think he's allowing. He's allowing play to start. Is this, yeah. this is a very aggressive anthem for South America. <laughs> yes, he's allowing to start. And the referees, I think he's allowing, he's allowing play to start. Yes, he's allowed kick off. England have started the game. I haven't seen anything like it. Come on, Pacquiao. Pac <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It's been the Guinness Book of Records this time. 
and England have scored. Uh, but uh, Pacuador, well, they can't move. The, the president, the generalissimo, uh, he'd have something to say if they move, perhaps. Uh, there we go. That's it. A few years in prison, but now, nope. No, they're back. I mean, it's there to shot, John. Terry. <laughs> I can't believe what's happening. Surely you can't let the game go on. I like how it's taking England so long to score goals, even though there's nobody defending the goal. <laughs> you know, I think uh, the president of Ecuador should realise that you can have a national anthem that's too long. Doesn't look like he does. I thought they'd be coming back now. <laughs> mm. And it is half time. Uh, Nothing got on the pitch yet, John. It's half time. 6 0. Uh, well, this is a surprise. How do you only score six goals in what's the half? Uh, 30 minutes? How good is this England team? She's there with Who's it? That's not supposed. Is that supposed to be like a queen or something with a cigarette in her mouth? Who is that supposed to be? And uh, Pacquador have been singing the whole way through the interval, and uh, surely that's it. Surely that's it. <laughs> They're still there, John. Look, look at Rod Stewart there. Look. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I think there'd be questions asked by FIFA about this. England scoring at will. It's a joke. A joke. Well, that's it. They've got a bit of catching up to do now, Paquador, with five minutes to go. Ecuador 13, England 12, there'll be questions. Astonishing, astonishing, John. I think possibly Rooney sending off had something to do with it, but shock. I mean, I'm in shock. Look at Capello. And Capello is not a happy man. And he wishes never had come. Merda! Merda! I think, obviously, that's a um, parody on... Maybe a manager, and I don't know who that is, though. And plucky Pacquiao, I've every right to celebrate, John. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think it's safe to say I wasn't expecting it to be like that at all. I thought it was just going to be like something about a national anthem before the match started. I didn't expect them to actually start the match during the national anthem. It apparently ran over 30 minutes. And also, England, if you can't score more than 12 goals when nobody else is on the field, what was it, like 55 minutes of game? <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure I'd want that English team uh, representing me during like, you know, the World Cup or anything. But going on how, like I said, aggressive and violent their national anthem was, Pacador, I'm actually not surprised that they overtook England and England looked pretty beat up by the end of that game. <laughs> there are obviously a few references that I didn't get just because I'm not really familiar with maybe like the managers or maybe some of the cultural references that they had in here. Like maybe the length of the national anthem seems like that that is maybe a thing for South America. I don't know. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a South American anthem at a football match before. So are they like known for being longer anthems or something? But anyway, I enjoyed that. That was a nice way to kind of like start the day, I think. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I gotta get back to doing a little bit more comedy on my channel. I've got a uh, short film called The Plank and I've got some panto coming up because it is panto season now. So we'll have some of that coming up shortly on my channel. Also make sure to check out my social media links if you're interested in that. I have a Patreon where I uh, do stuff that I can't do here on YouTube, watching some TV shows, movie nights, that type of thing. I also have a Tribbles and Transporters podcast for all of you Trekkies out there. If you're interested in that, we're on all the podcast platforms and the link is in the description and the pinned comment. Anyway, stay tuned for more football and more comedy coming up soon and we will see you guys next time.